Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY. Now this video has been in very, very high demand and I'm living up to my promise and doing a review on the Tyler Silk Le Vivid Hair System after two months of wearing it. So this is it on my head. This is it not on my head. I wanted to do it like this because I wanted to show you what the base looks like. It's quite a unique base. It's a hybrid. So it's got silk in the middle which has about three layers. It's a, it's a really interesting design. It has three layers. So you can see that bottom layer there. It's like a silk layer. And then above that is the layer with which the actual hair is woven into. So it's actually quite thick and it's quite robust, which is good if you want a long time out of a hair system. And it's expected to get eight to 12 months out of this system. So you need that robustness it gives that comfort as well which is what i really like because you have the silk base which is really really cozy and snug around the sides you have what is a poly which goes all the way around the sides it might look a bit small and that's because this has been obviously cut to the shape of my boarding area on the top of my head so there was originally a lot more poly but because the boarding area on my head isn't massive it's about six inches side to side naturally you're going to cut off some of the poly but it still works fine i still tape it i use lace front around the front of the base and then i tend to use either no shine around the edges or i just use lace front around the edges if i don't have any no shine at the front you'll notice that there is french lace and you can see even after two months it's still in really quite good nick now you'd expect usually after two months of wearing a system especially if you've been wearing pardon me lace not lace if you especially if you've been wearing tape at the front it does tend to sometimes pull the hairs through the actual lace now with this i can't actually see any which is always encouraging it shows that the hair is well woven into the actual lace itself and it's not coming apart easily even the lace itself is not coming apart. And usually after two months, you do tend to have, you know, some wear and tear. There is a little bit <clears throat> of residue. I removed this last night. There's a little bit of sort of tape residue. You can either leave that as it is, it's not the end of the world, or you can wash it off with shampoo or dish soap or even hand soap I use sometimes. So two months in, it's in really good nick. I'm actually going to bond it now and then I'm gonna make the second half of this video discussing with you a few things that I've noticed with the system bonded to my head. Ta-da, system back on my head. This time it's taped on so it's not gonna come flying off. It's really, really nice. I like the system a lot. I'm very fond of it. Now, I'm gonna talk with you about basically a number of characteristics of the system which I really like and which I can see why it will last a long period of time. So number one, I mentioned to you earlier in the video about the middle of the base and how the middle is a silk and it's three layered. So I couldn't remember off the top of my head why it's three layered. So I'm putting on the screen what Le Vivid sent to me about why it is three layered and why it adds to the comfort of the system, but it also adds to the duration and robustness of the system. Now, as it pops up on the screen right now, I'll explain it in layman's terms. So the actual bottom layer of the silk base is primarily for comfort. There's also a middle part of the base and then there's a top layer of the base. And the reason that particular top layer of silk is there is because it makes the hair look as if it's coming out of your scalp. It's really, really clever. And I'm actually going to show you the crown of the system on my head so you can get an idea of what I'm sort of trying to explain. So, if you look at the crown, it looks as if the actual hair is coming out of the scalp. Now, I've never had a system look this realistic coming out of the scalp. I've never had one this realistic. So it must be something quite unique to silk bases. The closest that I've ever come to that is many years ago, I got a, a lace base, it was a French lace base, and it had bleached knots, not just the front inch of the system, which this one does, but throughout the whole system it was bleached knots. And yes, it did look pretty much like it was coming out of your scalp, but not as realistic 
as this particular base. So that is a big bonus if you're looking for a realistic look, not just at the front, and we're gonna talk about that in a sec, not just at the front, but throughout the whole base. If someone's taller than you and they're looking down at your crown, this system looks as if the hair is actually coming out of your scalp. So that's a big win for this particular three-layered silk base. Now let's talk about the density of this system because density is so important when it comes to how realistic a system looks on someone's head. So in a previous video, I think I said that this was 100%. It was off the top of my head. I think it's actually a 95%. You might wanna check their website. The actual link for this system is in my description box below if you're interested in purchasing your, this system yourself. And while you're at it, if you're new around here, if you're liking my content, please do subscribe and like this video. Helps more people find this content in the YouTube algorithm. It also helps me as well. So help me out guys, give me a subscribe if you wouldn't mind. Back to density. So it's 95% I believe, which is really appropriate for my age profile. I'm 35 years young. Anyone, I always recommend anyone between the ages of like 30s, 40s, even in your 20s, a 95% is absolutely perfect. It's absolutely ideal because I would go along with saying it's a standard hair density for someone who's got a pretty full head of hair. Not a thick head of hair, but a standard full head of hair. Now, let's talk about blend. Now, blend of the color of the system with the color of my natural hair, I would say that is pretty on point. And remember, this system is two months old. There's been no oxidation of the system. There's no orangey or sort of brassy undertones. It looks the same color as my natural hair. And I purposely grew my hair out. And you guys know I don't like growing my natural hair out a lot because I tend to pull it as part of my hair pulling condition. I grew it out for this video because I wanted to show you that the hair is still on point. It's still the right color match to my natural hair. And I've washed this multiple times. So I've been wearing this for two months and I wash it usually every 10 days to 14 days. So every 10 days to two weeks, I'm washing this system, I'm shampooing it, I'm conditioning it. And after two months, the color is still right on point. I use Joico, which is a color protecting shampoo. Again, it's in my description box below. I use the conditioner that comes with it. It's a really good color protecting hair system shampoo, I highly recommend it. And let's talk about comfort now. And after comfort, we're gonna be talking about the frontal. So comfort wise, it's been pretty good. Last time I wore this, before I removed it last night and put it on this morning, was 10 days, it was 10 days. At that point, I was like, yeah, this needs to come off. I need to clean my hair. I need to give my natural hair a shave on top. It was time. So I'd say you can get seven to 10 days out of this before you need to remove. I suppose people with less sensitive scalps than me could probably do two weeks plus with this. What I will say is the silk allows it to feel very snug on your head. Personally, I'd recommend using a tape around the edges and a tape at the front. I just find that with these kind of systems, glue can get a little bit messy. And I just find tape a little less harsh on a system when you're trying to get the most amount of time from it. So let's talk frontals. Now it's a French lace at the front. Let me get my paddle brush. So it's a French lace at the front. So you can have this up if you so wish. It's also bleached. So bleached knots for the first inch. So it does give a pretty realistic appearance if you wanted your hair up, okay? You can zoom in on that if you want. Now, today I've got my hair down, but with this system so far, I've had my hair up, I've had my hair down. It basically depends on what mood I'm feeling on any given day, but I like to have the choice. And that's what I really like about the system. You don't have to have your hair down all the time. You don't have to ha have your hair up all the time. You can have it up or down and it still looks realistic. And I've had zero shedding as well so far. With hair systems, usually after a period of time, you'll get a level of shedding. It tends to happen more with the polys because they're not as securely fastened to the base itself. But with this, I've had zero shedding so far, guys. Zero. Usually after a couple of months, you might notice a few hairs in the shower or in your sink or something like that, or on your pillow. 
but I've had nothing so far. And I think it goes back to the fact that there's a three layered silk base in the middle, which means this, the actual hair is very securely woven and it's very hard for this hair to actually come out of the system and shed. So that's another really good thing. Now, if we are to consider negatives, the first one would be, I can't seem to get more than 10 days out of the system before I have to remove and rebond. I think that's just par for the course when you're talking about thicker, more robust bases. When you've got an ultra thin skin, they're just more comfy to wear because they're much lighter. You can use glue with them, but they are more fragile. You'll get two to three, maximum four months out of an ultra thin skin. I could genuinely see myself easily getting eight to 12 months out of this system. But you need to make sure if that's your intention, that you do everything that you can to take the best care of the system. So with this, every three days, I get pure argan oil on it. I sleep in a do-rag. I have a silk pillow. I use argan oil leave-in conditioner every day as well. You wanna be taking good care of this system. Another negative of this system is trying to tape along the silk base, which formulates the middle part of the system. Because it's silk, I've found in my experience, it doesn't stick to tape quite as well as poly does. It does still stick, just not as well. So what I've been doing, especially with my last rebond, is I've literally just done tape around the outsides and I've left the silk base in the middle free of tape just because it doesn't tend to stick as well. It does still stick, it just doesn't stick as well as poly, which I've got around the edges, which is why I didn't bother taping the silk bit in the middle. But that's by the by and it's not really a big issue. For me, this is a really, really good system and it's gonna last a long, long time. I'd give it a solid four out of five stars. It's one of the best systems I've worn. I'd even recommend this for first time wearers because it matches and it meshes a lot of qualities which you wanna be seeing as a first time wearer. It's robust, it's comfortable, it's gonna give you a bit of practice with maintenance because as I said, after 10 days, I'm needing to take it off, clean, rebond. So you'll get a lot of practice with that. And it's got the element of realism. So you've got poly, it's about a 0.1 millimeter poly around the edges, which is nice and robust if you're a first timer, but also it's got the lace at the front with the bleached knot. So basically the bottom of the system is basically bleached to make it look as if it's coming out of your scalp. So if you're a first time wearer, you can have your hair up and it can look pretty realistic. I would 100% recommend this for a first time wearer. I'd 100% recommend, re recommend this for long term users. It's also fantastic to have as a backup. If your system tears or you're doing maintenance and something goes wrong or it gets a little bit too dry, this is an ideal backup system because this will last for ages. What do you think guys? Have you tried this system before? Are you intrigued to try this system after watching this review? Let me know in the comments below. Also let me know if you'd like me to do a review on this system after eight to 12 months because then you can really see what this system will be looking like, the state it will be in, the condition it will be in at that point in time. Let me know in the comments box below. I mean, I'd be really keen to do that, to be honest, because let's see how long we can get out of this thing. I hope you're enjoying my content, guys. I said earlier on, if you haven't subscribed yet and you're new around here, please do subscribe. Very much looking forward to having you as part of my tribe and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye for now.